which is perfect. It's kind of written that way in the script. As no man in the face. The bargain based on mask and the villain behind it soon became another Halloween icon. Michael Myers still, even though know, the, the original movie came out in 1978, still remains uh, one of the most popular Halloween characters of all time. This idea of the mask stalker menacing young people. It shifted the focus of Halloween away from ghosts and goblins to um, human villain. But this nondescript match oh, did guys. much more than that. It helped to redefine the limits of what a Halloween mask could be. And it ushered Laura. in a new face and then Halloween. One for a new millennium. Don't waste dang pictures. For hundreds of years, masks and costumes have been a way for parties to disguise themselves. Yeah. And Don't break now, it. It's a multi-million dollar business. One Halloween themed store, Burbank, California's it's Halloween, Halloween. Town, is so yeah. popular, it's open I'm 12 sure months of the year, satisfying customer's need for disguise. So guys, he tried to end it, but it, I ain't letting that slip. We've had this business for 10 years I ain't now, letting it slip. and we really yeah. wanted to make it special, so we decided to open a year-round permanent store with ultimate yeah, shopping that. environment. It really puts people in the mood to shop for Halloween. That's Halloween stuff is all over the store, but the heart of Halloween Town's business is masks. That was great. We have the best zombies you can find, the best clowns. Just turn it over. Masks in disguise have oh, oh. always been great ways to let you off the hook in terms of your behavior. Oh, it's it's great, yeah. Us, time yeah. Holiday, yeah. Halloween, of course, it's, uh, Don't waste it. Don't waste it, Tyro. When I was a kid, I, I loved masks. The lens wasn't even Usually, only could find the local stores were crappy plastic, oh, flimsy yeah, masks my... that lost their shape. Right. But as time went on, it really evolved into this <laughs> art form where there's a lot of time spent in sculpting and painting. And now it's to the point yeah. where you can get an expensive, high end so, masks that all Joseph went to the dentist. And Wayne Todd would know no, like he's a specialist it's not like him. for me. I know it's not like him. But he did anyway. We have a lot of customers that like and high sucks. end stuff or high quality stuff, so we go out of our way to get that. We have yeah. high end costumes, fancy jackets. Ever since he left, I live I, now. I live a blonded life now, guys. Else, we try and make it so, no matter what sucks. you're looking for, you can find it here. Today's this is an awkward position, but are a far cry I know. From the generic devils, witches, skeletons, and ghosts of the 1960s. But that's the decade when the Halloween horror began to change. Hollywood started to influence what kids wore. So I'm ended at five minutes. TV and five movie minutes. Characters. Today, that trend has escalated to an obsession. Film franchises like A Nightmare on Elm Street, Scream, and Halloween are inspiring growing legions of kids to dress and kill. To wear the mask of the killer or the ghost of the skeleton, it gives a kid a sense of a lot of power and also of safety. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that, guys. You want it? Sure. Put it up on your wall. I will. I will. Put it in your wall. The only rule is that there are no rules. Masks take their inspiration Wait. from pop culture, oh religion, politics. You name it. And a growing number of faces behind them belongs not to kids, guys. but adults. Today is Halloween. I don't think that was uh, a big cheese. Yeah. Ago. But it's been, again, specifically set aside where you can be somebody that you normally want to wear a mask. Ken, y'all are going to tire me. You ain't taking a nap at Halloween. Uh, okay. People enjoy it. Ken. Truth is, our 21st century Halloween is as much a holiday for adults as it is a holiday for kids. Ethan? Yeah. I can't take it down now. I got it got too many likes. Everyone's seen it now. Everyone's seen it now. I can't. With parties and Halloween themed venues such as haunted houses. Go scratch your butt or something. I'm gonna. There was nothing else for you to do. Now there is a vast and imaginative haunted house industry just for you. And there's something like 4,000 haunted houses in the United States every year. I love haunted houses. Fascinating. They terrify me. Forget it. But haunted houses aren't 
the only place to find adults getting out on Halloween. Oh, yeah. In places like New York City's Greenwich Village it's five minutes. and West Hollywood's yeah. Halloween Carnival. It's been five minutes, guys. So, I guess you can say this is the end. This is just a little special. It's Halloween. We made it for the occasion, of course, because I don't know. Yeah, it's like a 